Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving, quite literally, into a revolutionary piece of German defense technology that could significantly bolster the Philippines' ability to defend its waters against underwater incursions. This is the SG-1 Fathom, a cutting-edge autonomous underwater glider developed by German defense firm Helsing. A glider that may soon be at the forefront of the 21st century anti-submarine warfare. And yes, it could be exactly what the Philippine Navy and Coast Guard need. Let's break it down. But before we dive in, we must keep in mind that a stronger Philippines is built not just through military strength, but through good governance, fighting corruption, rejecting political fanaticism, and combating misinformation. The waters surrounding the Philippine archipelago, spanning over 2 million square kilometers, are vulnerable to a range of maritime threats, illegal incursions, foreign submarines conducting reconnaissance missions, and gray zone tactics involving unmarked undersea platforms. And with tensions continuing to rise in the West Philippine Sea, especially with China's increasingly assertive submarine deployments and suspected undersea surveillance activities. The Philippines needs to adapt. Fast, traditional anti-submarine warfare, or ASW, has always relied on costly and manpower-intensive platforms. P-3 Orions, or P-8 Poseidons, advanced frigates, and sonar-equipped submarines. But what if there was a smarter, cheaper, and more persistent way to monitor and patrol our waters? Helsing's newly unveiled SG. One Fathom is a game changer. Designed for autonomous underwater surveillance, this AI-powered glider can patrol the oceans silently and persistently for up to three months at a time without needing to surface. Think of it as a quiet underwater scout always watching, always listening. This isn't just a concept. It's real, it works, and it's ready for deployment. Operated remotely from a maritime headquarters, a single person can monitor and task hundreds of SG-1 units. That's hundreds of underwater sentinels feeding critical intelligence in real time at just 10% of the cost of traditional ASW patrols. Just imagine the potential for an archipelagic country like the Philippines. What truly sets the SG one fathom apart is the software that powers it, Lura. Lura isn't just another AI system. It's a first principles built large acoustic model inspired by the same breakthroughs that made large language models possible, except it's trained to detect submarine noises, not sentences. This gives Lura unprecedented sensitivity and accuracy. It can detect underwater acoustic signatures 10 times quieter than previous models. Even more impressive, it can identify individual vessels, not just the type, but the exact ship even from within the same class. And it does all of this 40 times faster than human operator. This level of acoustic discrimination and speed is a game changer for early warning and deterrence. So what does this mean for us? For the Philippine Navy, this could transform maritime, domain awareness, and anti-submarine operations. Instead of relying solely on foreign surveillance or limited sonar-equipped vessels, we could deploy an autonomous underwater glider network, a constellation of persistent smart sentinels spread across our waters. These gliders would be capable of tracking foreign submarines before they even come close to strategic areas, monitoring choke points like the Sibuta Passage or the Verde Island Passage, and providing persistent surveillance of contested areas in the West Philippine Sea without risking manned assets. And for the Philippine Coast Guard, particularly during peacetime or hybrid threat scenarios, SG-1s could be vital in detecting illegal undersea cables, autonomous surveillance drones, or even unauthorized submarine activity cloaked under maritime traffic. Perhaps most compelling for a country with a limited defense budget, 
SG, One Fathom, and Lura are scalable and affordable. This system doesn't need a massive infrastructure. It doesn't rely on expensive man platforms. A small operations team could monitor dozens, if not hundreds, of gliders scattered across the archipelago. This opens the door for localized deployment. We can use these assets to guard our undersea fiber cables, monitor high traffic shipping lanes, or protect vital marine biodiversity zones, which are often at risk of foreign exploitation. The good news? Helsing has already partnered with companies like Blue Ocean Marine Tech Systems, Ocean Infinity, and Kinetic to scale and deliver both SG-1 and the Lura platform within a year. The system has been successfully demonstrated at HM Naval Base Portsmouth, and it's being evaluated by several navies across Europe. This means the Philippines doesn't have to wait a decade. With proper funding and alignment with our modernization goals under the revised AFP Modernization Program, or even through public-private partnerships, the SG-1 Fathom could begin guarding our seas within a year or two. The Philippine Department of National Defense, the Department of Science and Technology, and the National Security Council should take a serious look at this technology. With our push toward a comprehensive archipelagic defense concept, systems like the SG-1 Fathom perfectly align with the doctrine of distributed, affordable, and persistent maritime awareness. And let's not forget the self-reliant defense posture, SRDP. If the Philippines partners with Helsing, perhaps future versions of the SG, one could be assembled locally, creating jobs while boosting our maritime defense capabilities. The underwater domain has long been the shadowy frontier of modern warfare. But with technologies like SG-1 Fathom and the Lura AI platform, we can finally shine a light into the deep and keep our maritime zone secure. To the Philippine Navy and Philippine Coast Guard, take note. This could be the decisive edge we need to protect our underwater frontiers. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you won't miss our next update on groundbreaking military tech and how it can help strengthen Philippine defense. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay informed, stay prepared.